All right, we're getting now to the fun part. We're gonna put some PEX tubing, shark bite connectors that are already pre-installed on this uh, faucet system here. Um, I used the uh, Oatly Fast Tape. It's a new thicker sealing tape for the threads, so it makes your job a lot easier. Um, they're all installed. All we're gonna do is snap in some piping, run the connectors down, and that's it. We turned off the water. Um, these are little shark bite um, pipe uh, caps. Since we wanted to turn ba water back on, uh, as we ran into a little trouble with the tubing below, so these are awesome. We're gonna pop them off now, and then we can connect um, the actual plumbing. So it comes with a little kit like this in the kit. Let's see if this actually works. So you're supposed to put it on and push it up, and yeah, it comes off. So they are reusable. If nobody ever seen a sharp bike connector, that's slap slide onto the pipe just like that. Snap it in. Very good. Not the other one. So anytime you're connecting the copper pipes, you want to make sure they're nice and clean. I've already sanded these down before um, installing the caps. So these are good to go. Hopefully this a little close up for you guys will be better to see what I'm doing. But basically, this is all connected already. We got a red for hot. We're gonna connect it here first. This is, as I said, already all cleaned up. So all you do is take your shark bite connector, greatest invention ever. Um, snap it in. And that's not going anywhere. All we're gonna do is snap it in here. Got a solid connection. I'm gonna measure this out here. Cut it. Snap it in. Red is connected. Hot. And then do the same thing for cold water. I'm cutting right about this line, right when the indent starts, just so there's a little extra plastic pipe in so it will bend anyway. Snap and cold. portion as I said Delta tells us to use copper going downwards so that's what we're going with and first we're gonna connect the left up spout connector I use the thicker wall copper piping I'm not buying a lot of it might as well go with the better choice either one will work though so that's good that will drain. Screw that in really quick. Turns up everything center with the tub. Now we're gonna move on to the shower. Get you guys a better angle. For the shower, we're using the white piping. And where's my short pipe? There we go. So for the shower, we're using white piping. I'm gonna snap this guy in first. Now I'll measure what I wanna put my shower head. Perfect. 
The good thing, good thing is we're not welding anything, so even if you mess up, you can get the little adapter, pop these off, cut the pipe shorter and redo it, replace the pipe. Pipe is cheap, um, five feet, I think a couple bucks, so yeah, it's a no brainer. Good for house projects, not if you, this is your business, I might add up, sharp bike connectors are not cheap, but it does make your job a lot easier. So I'm gonna screw that in. So here is what we did. We connected it to old copper piping. Got the copper going down. These things are gonna get plugged up. This is release valves, um, which we're gonna close up so no water comes out of there. And here we have the shower. And this, that's where you connect your actual shower spout to already. That will be behind the sheetrock. Now we're gonna connect our welder copper piece for the pet right here. First we're gonna put some Teflon tape around this, screw this in, and we'll be all set.